Well, a 10-year-old girl hit by a car remains on life support tonight. And late this afternoon, the family of the little girl sent us an update saying she's alive. News 13's Rex Hodge is streaming live from Cherokee. Rex, the family says they are donating her organs. That's right. So far, they say she has saved seven lives, and they say they hope she can save even more. Meanwhile, the family and community are already mourning the inevitable. And she's great at making friends. I think everyone would say that Hayes is her friend because um, she's just good with people. Ann Burgess says Hayes Ian is like any 10-year-old girl. She mostly just enjoys being with her friends. I think that's what she would say, talking on the phone, um, being at school. She really liked school. She was good at school. Her teachers like her a lot, too. As children, their parents and teachers get ready for the start of school Monday at East Elementary in Swain County. Burgess says it will be difficult not to have Hayes here, struck by a vehicle in Cherokee on Wednesday. There's never a good time for something like this to happen. Beginning of school makes it even more tough. Um, the kids will come in with lots of questions. Um, and even the staff is having you know, a bit of a hard time. Burgess is a counselor and friend to Hayes and says her absence will be tough. Family members posting condolences and establishing a memorial page on Facebook. Swain school leaders are already helping at an open house. Our great counselors have been trained. How, to ha how do you handle adults? How do you handle kids? When a tragedy like this happens. Emotions as genuine as this little girl. We're heartbroken. Once again, Hayes Ian remains on life support as the family hopes to donate more of her organs. A fund has been set up to help the family with funeral and medical expenses. You'll find that information on our website under news links. Just before air, we received a statement, a letter from the family, and I want to read that to you right now. We would like to ask people to continue to keep our family in your prayers. We'd also like to ask for prayers for the man and others who were responsible, who were involved, rather, in the accidents. We would like to thank everyone who is helping us and we would also like to thank everyone at Mission Hospital for taking such wonderful care of Hayes. This is a terrible accident that no parent ever should have to experience. Hayes will be loved and missed by everyone who knew her, and we will make sure she will never be forgotten. Please continue to pray for us and parents. Please hug your child, hug your kids. Extra tight tonight. You never know what tomorrow will bring or take away. And it's signed, the Carol Ian family. Reporting live tonight from Cherokee, Rex Hodge, News 13.